Hey everyone. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to automate testing out in the field using a field fox and uh, Android phone. Android phone. So the reason why I choose an Android phone instead of tablets because of um, it's portable. It's easier to handle out in the field. And um, so there are some um, there are few few accessories that is needed. One of it is of course the um, USB-C to Ethernet connector and Ethernet cable to communicate with the field fox and also if you need to um, just get a GPS um, antenna that attached to the field fox here so that um, the data that you recorded can be plotted on the uh, Google Earth for reporting purpose so anyway in this example these are the accessories um, that's needed because um, the way I wrote the automations um, I'll record down the GPS um, GPS locations with all the data um, of interest so this is the antenna that I attach to it just to measure a simple 2.4 gig uh, signal so without further delay so the first thing is that um, we need to set the, the few folks to static IP address and uh, I have a video to do that so please check um, in the same channel so I'll go through quickly so let's go to system config um, more LAN. let's go to insert DHCP let's set to static click done and my address is uh, 1023 let's change it to 1020 um there's no no particular reason why i want to change to 20 um, instead of 23 um it all depends on which one you want um doesn't really matter uh partly it's because i it's easier it's easier to um type 20 instead of 23 anyway just go back to done and just go about here power let's click edit power now yep and done so then presence and let's go to here py um this one this is um python android especially built for android i'm not sure about ios i haven't tried that yet um so let's go to here let's open up and this oopsie let's try again this open up let's try again this is the code that i want to and let's make sure that um i'm setting the Frequency to 2.4. Um, let's say 2.4. Oops, what did I do? Sorry for that. Um, yeah, 2.4. Okay, so we just click run right now and just type in 192.168.1.0. Hundred dot two three, sorry two zero, and uh, and as you can see now it's switching between spec and mode and the RTSA real time. So the reason why I want to do that is that uh, once I see something in the uh, SA mode, I can change it to RTSA and capture the screenshot. Um, just to determine what type of um signal it is so as you can see I, ca I got oh yeah so the execution error is due to uh, because I haven't put in uh, external yep let me do that so this uh, external USB um, so in my code um, I, I what I did was uh, I captured the screenshot and put in the USB for storage which I'm going to use it later and um, yeah so with that on it will continue to run until uh, user interrupt um, and this is one example that you can use um, if you are familiar with Python um, this is one of the way to automate um, testing out in the field using a phone instead of using the um, tablets or even laptop so personally I quite like this um, it works Okay, um, I'll continue on with the um, the second part of it uh, in another video. So 
the second part is mainly just to compile the data and plot it to Google Earth so that you can see uh, where do you capture the that signal and again all this is uh, is a weekend project. Uh, if you're interested, do PM me. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.